Hey everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Makers. And today I'm gonna to take you on a little tour of my area in my studio where I'm doing enamel work. Now I know you've seen me sitting at the bench over here a couple times lately. And several people have had questions. So I thought I would put together just a quick video to explain what's going on. Now, this is one of the most important pieces of equipment I have. It's my radio. <laughs> because when I spend long periods of time, I love to listen to tunes. But in all seriousness, let's run through just some of the basics of what I have going on here and why I'm doing it. If you've been following us, you know that I'm currently taking an enamel class online. Now, usually I would have probably taken it in person, but to be honest, there are some real advantages to taking it online. I have an enamel background already. I've taken a, a bunch of classes in person, so I know my super basics. And there's really not that much difference for some of these tasks to learn it through video or in person. Obviously, it's always nice to be able to ask an immediate question, but to be honest, the teacher I'm working with does a good enough job that most of the time there aren't any questions, or he answers them right then and there. So, what I'm doing lately is making these. Now, if you are going to paint your house inside or out, you go down to the hardware store and you get, we call them paint chips, but they're, they're just paint samples. And when I mean my sample, it's just that piece of paper that's got the color on it. And that lets you take a bunch of them home and tack them up on the wall and look about, look about it, think about it, the whole thing, and decide what you really want on your wall. Well, when you buy enamel, let me grab a couple of examples here. This is an excellent example here. And let me check and see what color this is. That actually... Ah. Okay. There we go. These are excellent examples bring these up here so you can really see they're just two jars and they have white powder in them but these are just totally different from one another in terms of color this one on my left hand is a rose color and this one in my right hand is clear like regular window glass so if you don't make samples you don't know for sure now, as you'll notice by the fact I tripped over a box, this is the edge of Henry's work area here, and this place is a wreck right now. It's one of the things on the list in the next week or two after the electrical work is done. To get this straightened out more, I have a rolling cart I want to bring over here to give me some more surface without slopping onto Henry's workbench. But back to this stuff here. Enamel is just powdered glass. That's all it is. It's a specific type of glass, and I'm not going to try and go into any of the chemistry or anything like that. That's one of those Google it moments. But basically, what you're doing is you're taking a piece of metal or some other substance, but in this case metal, and I'm using copper because copper's cheap. Now, this copper is not as cheap as some copper because this is what they call oxygen-free copper, and that has to do with interacting with the enamels and all that sort of stuff. But you get a piece of copper, and then you're going to put enamel on it, and then you're going to cook it. And that's going to turn it back from powder like this into glass. And, you know, these, these look, I mean, really, even up close, is there a difference in the white? Hmm. Yeah, just a tiny bit. There's a tiny bit of difference. But it's no, it's not any different than when you're dealing with two pieces of clothing that are white. They may both be white, 
but when you hold them next to one another, there's not much difference. But you obviously, there's a big difference between, oh, say, this and this. And you really need to know. Otherwise, you're going to make some sort of a massive mistake. So I hope this is a good quick chat. Gives you a feel for what's going on a little bit. And I'll come back and I'll do lots more. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Because I got lots of enamel work to do. And I'll explain this more in detail in the future. So for now, bye.